Hello there. This video will demonstrate multiplicative seasonal forecasting for a company with four unique seasons. This question corresponds to problem 4.27 in your text. So here, a gentleman owns a company that manufactures canoes. We're provided with actual demand for canoes for each season for the years 2015 through 2018. There are four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall, and we have the data for each of the four years. Now, Mark, the owners forecasted that the annual demand for canoes in 2019, which is the next year, will be 5,600. And so our requirement is based on this data and using the multiplicative seasonal model to determine the demand level for the canoes in the spring of 2019. Now, a season doesn't actually have to be a winter, spring, summer, fall season. A season in forecasting can be a week. It can be an hour, it can be a year, it doesn't really matter. So the process would work regardless of whether you have four seasons or 12 seasons or any other number of seasons. So there's a few ways you could approach a problem like this. The way I like to do it first is to come up with the totals for each season. So the sum of all of the canoe sales for the winter season over all the years adds up to 4,500 canoes. This is the total number of canoes sold for all the winter periods. Notice what we're doing here is not adding up the annual sales, we're adding up the sales for each season. Over the last four years, the total sales in spring was 6,000 canoes, in summer 7,000, and in fall 2,500. And so if we add all this together, this gives us a total of 20,000 canoe sales over the last four years in all seasons. And then what we do is if we divide by the number of seasons, this will give us the overall average per season, which is 1,250 canoes. And we say that this is the overall seasonal average. And you'll see we'll need that number in a, in a couple of minutes. So the next thing we can do is determine what the seasonal average is for each season. So we've got the total. And if we divide by the number of years we have for our data, so we have four years of data, this will give us an average number of sales per winter season of 1,125. So this is the seasonal average. If we take 6,000 total divided by four years worth of data, this is a seasonal average of 1,500 canoes. If we take summer divided by four years, that's 1,750. And for fall divided by the four years will give us 625. Now what we can do is determine what we call the seasonal index. And the seasonal index is the relationship between the seasonal average for each individual season divided by the overall seasonal average. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna make these red. And now for winter, if I take the 1125 seasonal average and divide by the 1250 overall seasonal average, then this gives me a seasonal index of 0.9. What this means is that on average, winter canoe sales are 90% of the overall seasonal average. If we look at spring and divide by 1250, this will give us a seasonal index of 1.20, which means that spring's sales on average are about 120% or 1.2 times the overall seasonal average. For summer, we take 1750 divided by 1250, and that is 1.4. And then finally, for fall, 625, divided by 1,250 is 0.5. Now here's something interesting to note, that if I add up all of these seasonal indices, these will equal to 4.0, which is the number of seasons. Or we're almost through this problem now. For the last part, what we're asked to do is forecast what the demand for canoes will be in the spring of 2019, but we might as well do this for all of the seasons. So here's what we know. 2019 total sales are 5,600. And if we divide that by four seasons, we would expect an overall seasonal average of sales to be 1,400. But then what we do, so in this column, we'll put the 2019 forecast. And how we determine that is simply to take our seasonal index, multiply by the expected sales divided by the four seasons. So that's 1,400. So we would expect sales in the winter season to be 90% of the overall average of 1,400 or 1,260. If we take spring, we have a seasonal index of 1.2 times 1,400. That will give us an expected number of canoe sales in the spring of 1,680 canoes. For summer, we have a seasonal index of 1.4 times 
times the fourteen hundred dollar times the fourteen hundred average canoes based on the twenty nineteen demand. That results in expected canoe sales in the summer of one thousand nine hundred and sixty. And then finally for the fall, we have a seasonal index of zero point five times the fourteen hundred gives you a total of seven hundred canoes. And to make sure that you've done it right, when you add all of those forecasted sales, they should add up to 5,600 canoes, which is the total expected canoe sales during the year. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, this method compared to the other methods does not actually forecast the total sales for the period. What it does is it takes a forecasted total sales, which you could derive perhaps using another model, and then breaks that down into the individual seasons. So for example, you could use exponential smoothing, moving average, any of the other methods to determine the 2019 forecast of 5,600, and then break that down into the four seasons using multiplicative seasonal forecasting. And there you go, all finished. Hope you found this useful.